Welcome to the Florida 4 H TV News Show. I'm your state council reporter and host, Will Eubanks. We're excited to have you tuning in with us today. We would like to make this a regular thing. First, let's get started with our new state officers introducing themselves. Hello everyone, my name is Lydia Ucanis and I'm your new state council president. I can't wait to see the amazing things that Florida 4 H does this year and I will be with you guys every step of the way. Hello everyone, my name is Hayden Hollis and I will be serving as your 2020 through 2021 Florida 4-H State Council Vice President. I am so beyond excited to be working with each and every one of you this year to help improve our communities, better our 4-H program, and make the best better. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Ella Dinkins and I am your Florida 4-H State Secretary. I am super excited to get to work with you all this year and get to know you a lot better. Good day, my name is Benjamin Wolking, and I am proud to serve as your 2020-2021 Florida 4-H State Council Treasurer. This year has presented some unique challenges, but together, we're gonna to make the most of it. I'm looking forward to working with you all. Hi everyone, my name is Laura Mantueta. I'm from Miami-Dade County, and this year I'm the Florida 4-H State Council Sergeant at Arms. I'm really, really excited to get to know all of you, have fun during our committee meetings, plan amazing events together, and I'm looking forward to what the new year has to bring for all of us. See you guys soon. Hi everyone, my name is Brooke Adams, and I'm the Florida 4-H State Council Parliamentarian. I am beyond excited to kick off this new year and get to know each and every one of you. Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Erickson and I am your 2020-21 state historian. I am super excited to be working with you guys. I am from Hardy County and a little fun fact about me, I've been playing piano for about 12 years now and the longest piano song I ever learned how to play was seven and a half minutes long. And that's our new state officer team for this year. Now let's move on to the next segment. Up next, we're going to talk about our one and only uh, in-person event that happened over the summer, State Livestock Judging. Um, livestock Judging Contest, um, in, its, in and of itself, is simply a livestock for evaluating and judging livestock in terms of their quality. Um, for me, today we had the State Livestock Judging Remake. Um, I think that was a great opportunity and really glad UF came together and had the opportunity for the youth. So for me, I enjoy the Livestock Judging Contest because uh, it gives me the opportunity to gain industry knowledge. It's given me the ability to pick high quality cattle, uh, which in turn has given me the opportunity to do things such as buy cattle for people. Uh, people have me come and evaluate, you know, and help sort through what they have. And so for me, I like it because it gives you a lot of inter industry knowledge. I sure hope we get to do in-person events soon. This year, some Marion County 4-Hers uh, took on the challenge and participated in 4-H National Film Fest. A few weeks ago, I had the opportunity to go and interview one of them. Ashton, could you tell us what 4-H Film Fest is? Sure, so the Film Fest is put on by the Missouri Extension Office and it tries to go around the nation and get kids into that are interesting in filming and costume design and anything to do with making movies um, to make their own, own movie and get recognition around the national level for what they do. That sounds like an awesome opportunity that not more, many 4-Hers know about. Thanks for sharing, Ashton. We would like to include the link to Ashton's video in the, the comments below, so you guys will have a chance to go and look at it. Also, a huge congrats to Ashton for placing first in her category. Finally, moving on, we're moving to a segment called uh, Messages from State Officers. First up, we have uh, Hayden Hawes, our Vice President. Hello everyone, this is Hayden Hollis, your Florida 4-H State Council Vice President. I would like to encourage each and every one of you to work very closely with your fellow 4-H members, others in your community, and 4-H volunteers, staff, and faculty throughout the year to help make the best better. Ultimately, we've been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, and the future of this 4-H year is really unknown. That's why it's so important to work together with others who care about the 4-H program to make sure we come up with the best solutions to continue to provide positive youth development programs. Thank you. Thank you, Hayden. That is a great message to keep in mind. And remember, if you guys have any good news to share, send it our way. Now remember guys, let's keep on making the best better.